Okay. Here is the bird's eye maple violin. Um, you can see what it looks like. Looks very nice. I've retooled the scroll. Um, I buy unfinished instruments from Asia and Europe and I finish them. Um, and sometimes the scrolls need to be retooled, just cleaned up, and that's what I do. Um, I've got all the, the chisels and everything. I fit the pegs, um, fit the fingerboard, the nut, the bridge, saddle sometimes, end pins. I fit everything. I use Ava Parazzi strings. Um, and this violin sounds very nice. Um, but this will give you an idea of what it sounds like. I am no professional. I do this on the side. Um, I do nursing, and some I'm always in white. Um, do in-home nursing by profession, for profession. Um, so that's what that is. Um, but I've been working on violins for going on 20 years, not quite 20 years. So, but this will give you an idea what this violin sounds like. myself I took lessons for about a year or so many years ago um, but that's that very nice looking violin and a decent sounding violin and this violin's asleep if you could call it that um, has been played very little um, I've been working on this violin for nearly two months this is bird's eye maple. Anyone that's done a bird's eye maple violin knows it's, it's much more difficult to work with than just regular make, curly maple. Okay, so that's that. Give you an idea what it sounds like. <laughs> 